Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I know it's been a while since I uploaded a tutorial, but I really wanted to do one on this new feature in Photoshop. The new feature is symmetry. So this has been a long time coming, and I, I'm surprised it took this long to get it there in the first place. So, first of all, this is a new feature, but it isn't in by default. You have to actually turn it on by going to the preferences. So let's jump to the preferences and go to edit <clears throat> preferences and then way at the bottom we see technology previews so I'll click on that and once you get in here you'll also have this menu you could cycle through but make sure you're on technology previews and just go enable paint symmetry and then hit OK and as soon as you do that you'll notice when you have your brush selected a new menu is going to show up here up on the top right here and there's some other menus I want to show that are added in the new version of Photoshop as well that are helpful. But for this one, we just want to focus on the symmetry. So let's start by making a new layer. You don't have to do this. It's just kind of my workflow. I always have a new layer. And we're going to go up to symmetry. And we're going to do a new vertical. And you'll notice like you have your, you can twist it and turn it. Or if you go right on top of it, you can move it, slide it around. And this is going to be the center point of your new vertical symmetry line and once you have it in the place you want let's hit enter and now it just shows up as that little line now you can just draw with the brush tool and it'll create symmetry lines this is great for creating patterns or like a door design or anything like that i'm just doing some general scribbles here but yeah you can you can do all sorts of great stuff with this also you notice it does if you hit e and go to eraser it will erase in symmetry as well, which is super useful. So let's let's clear this. I'm just going to do Control A and hit Delete or Command A if you're on a Mac. And we're going to say turn symmetry off. Okay, so our symmetry plane is completely gone now. And let's go back up and let's do the same thing, a new vertical line. But this time we're going to turn it a little bit, then hit Enter. And now you notice you've got your vertical line like this. So yeah, you can easily use your symmetry that way as well. I usually just use it up and down for myself. So now that we have the basic one all the way, let's go through some of the other options we have here. And I'll talk about maybe some of the uses I can think of for them and things like that. So we're going to do new horizontal line, which, you know, hit enter once you have it in place. And this one, pretty much the same thing as the other one, just twist it to the side. And keep in mind that you could actually do a new vertical and hold shift. And that's essentially the same same thing. So those those really are kind of unnecessary, really. But we do have the new dual access one as well, which is super useful. This one I really like for patterns. So you know you can you know do all kinds of cool stuff like this and whatever you really want to do. I have I, right now I just don't have any ideas of what I want to draw. I just kind of want to show you guys how to use this, and and I'm sure it'll help out with. A lot of different things like I'll, I'll draw a pattern do something like this you, know, you can get in there and do little details and it's really fun just coming up with designs and things maybe it'll be like an ornate feature on a shield or an ornate part on a door or something and you can go in here and we can switch back to this type and say we just want to have like a keyhole or something like that there so there's lots of stuff you could do with these few basic ones here so we're gonna go and turn off symmetry again I'm just gonna get rid of that stuff in this layer and I'm gonna go, we've got the diagonal one. And like I said before, this is kind of silly because you can just turn them once you place them. I suppose it gives you that exact diagonal. But once again, these are early testings of the new symmetry tool that they're incorporating. So that is that. I'm sure they'll probably have some more features as they go along. So we also have the new wavy line, which at first I was like, what could you use this for? But I was thinking about it, you could probably use it for maybe some sort of rope, some kind of uh, winding pattern or something. I haven't really come up with a good use for it yet. Uh, all I can really think of is like some sort of rope. That's <laughs> really it's always going to mind right now. I'm sure there's plenty of things you could do with it, but it seems a little bit, uh, a little bit missing or lacking in function. Maybe, you know, I could, I could like skew this and move it around. That's one thing you can do too, I, I forgot to mention here. Uh, since this line is based on a transform, we could actually take this line and make it like that instead. 
So you could have a little more, a little more work, a little more options with it at least. Uh, you can do the same thing like if you do the dual axis one, but with this one, it's not going to really matter or change anything. It's just basically changing your center pivot point or your center draw point from there. Okay, and another thing, we've got the new circle. The circle one, I'm a little bit disappointed in. I was really hoping this wouldn't be a circle symmetry tool, but a circle drawing tool. But really, it's kind of the same thing as the other one. You can kind of do like a pattern. That might work out. Maybe you're doing uh, some sort of mandala or some sort of shield or door, things like that. Another patterning thing where you can go around and have it kind of bend with that. That's kind of cool, but once you get a little further away from the actual line, you'll see it actually starts getting really weird. Like it doesn't quite know what to do. But it's, it's good for a circular pattern like this. And once again, when you place that one in the circle, you could also change its shape. So if you didn't want it to be, if you want to make an oval, it'll follow that as well. And let's move on to the next one. We've got a spiral. Same thing with this one. It doesn't have a ton of uses. It'd be nice if we could adjust these points. And maybe that's what they're working towards with these. So you can make like a custom line that you can follow and draw on. And then we have our last one here is new parallel lines. And this one's another one I was, this is actually where I discovered you could scale them. And this one's kind of cool, but I feel like it could be a lot better. It seems like you could choose like the amount of lines that might be helpful, but it's still pretty useful. It's not too different from the new vertical, but it's still helpful. Okay, now that we have kind of all the tools out of the way as far as what we can do with these, let's go in and just a few little other thoughts and notes about what you can do with these. So one thing I do, once I have this in place, I don't really like seeing the guidelines like here. And I know this is a center point, so I might do a little, just a little tiny notch there, a little dot, just to show where my center point is. And I'll go up in here and I'm gonna say, hide symmetry. So the symmetry is still on, but it's not in your way. And this, this kind of frees up so you don't feel like you're being guided by the lines and you can kind of just draw your, whatever you want to draw. And you don't have to get too worried about that. If you want to turn it back on, just jump back up, show symmetry, and there it is. I just wanted to show this feature to everyone so that everyone have an idea of what is in the new Photoshop. And actually, you know, I should let everyone know what version that is too. So the version I'm using, let's go up to about CC. It looks like it's version 19. So this is the latest update if you're on Adobe Cloud. So you'll just automatically have that. And just remember, you just have to turn the feature on under preferences. But yeah, well, thanks for stopping by everybody. I hope this was helpful. Uh, just leave a comment below if, you, if anyone else discovers anything great about this new feature. And I'm sure it's going to be built up a lot more in the future. But thanks for stopping by. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like it. And you can turn on notifications if you really like it. But I appreciate your feedback. And I hope everyone enjoys this tutorial. I know I've been missing for a little while. But hopefully on the weekends I can get some tutorials out to you guys. And yeah, have a great evening, day, night, whatever it is for you. Take care.